are we rolling okay I guess we're rolling okay YouTube community or whoever happens to watch this I'm gonna do this video for my buddy John Gray over in St. Augustine Florida John plays in the fantabulous band chemtrails in St. Augustine and um, I manufacture these uh, radius blocks for uh, for uh, leveling uh, guitar fretboards, this fretboard is a nine and a half, nine and a half inch radius, and uh, the guitarist, uh, who's an excellent blues player, wore out the frets between around 12 and uh, I don't know 5 so he created this valley in the frets so to level this I have the uh, uh, the neck the wood of face of the neck perfectly level using this using this guy which is notched out for the frets and you put it on there and as you can see the wood on the neck is level but if you take a actually got it filed down pretty good if you take a straight edge and uh, put it across the frets you find a valley in the middle where he wore it out so I've already sanded down um, quite a bit off of here to get this back and I'm moving I'm moving this tape line up as I go as I get it more uh, level and more level and how I do that I guess this will be a compound uh, thing here a compound video of how to um, how to put the uh, how to attach sandpaper to these radius blocks so you can use them again and um, uh, what the deal is what I'm going to do with this neck I'm going I'm going to go and have a, a 15 degree radius down here and nine and a half up here and it'll be a, a gradual kind of thing to prevent fret outs but uh, that's a whole nother story so John let me show you uh, how I uh, so here's a finished radius block much like the one I sent John in the mail nine and a half inch radius just like the neck sand you know you sand the uh, get the neck um, you don't have to take it off of the guitar but it's easier if you do uh, get the neck as flat as you can this has the truss rod loosened all the way and uh, I put some black magic marker on all the frets I don't always do that but this this one's pretty uh, uh, involved so I did uh, I did mark that and you just slowly go across it and you can see the sand lines on there and uh, level it so to do this sanding block thing here I have some I'm using 220 grit sandpaper. It's probably, you know, I don't know if it's going to be backwards or oh, whatever. 220 grit sandpaper. Okay, so step one get some of this, uh, this is a three inch roll of uh, painter's tape. Take the painter's tape and get this in there. Take the painter's tape, attach that to the concave part of the block take another piece I guess I could even do could I do that yeah I can use I can use this cat over here skinnier one unless you had a nice big wider piece get that on there with no overlap okay so I got some blue tape on there 
And then I'll just uh, trim that off. Turn that shit off of it. No, off of okay, trim that off. Okay, so I got that laid down. Now I'm gonna put some gloves on. I always listen to music while I do do my guitar work, but light bulb went off in my head. If you have any licensed music in your YouTube videos, that's a no-no, and they will take it down and I did that once. I had a, a DJ playing a little music before the band went on. Just a, a little snippet, like about 30 seconds of an Eagle song, and um, I got to notice that there's actually a way to uh, do that, uh, to remove that. Google, um, YouTube remo can remove that from your video after it's been posted. It took quite a while processing, but. They did it, and I didn't have to re-edit, you know, take down the video, re-edit it, and put it back up. Okay, so step one, I have that tape on there on this 15-inch radius block. And well, now I will get to my super glue. And I love this this super glue, like because the, the little tubes. Uh, I don't know. This just just uh, is a lot. This stuff is great because uh, with the little tubes, I find you use half of it and it gets clogged. And this is a huge, huge tube. And I don't know, they fixed that problem with this. So, uh, okay. Let me, let me just make sure I know what I'm doing here. So the next thing, where'd my sandpaper go? <coughs> okay, here we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I got the sandpaper. And, uh, that on there, that on there. Yeah, so, all right, take the tape, put it on the sandpaper. Right, okay. Take these gloves off for a minute. <clears throat> trying to do this video without an edit. <clears throat> I really didn't prepare myself in my head, but, uh, uh all right, so I'm going to take this sandpaper, put it face down, and uh, put a strip on there. I guess if you could find this tape, I should have did this on a flat surface, but I didn't. Um, good if you could find tape that's, uh, what, what, what do we need here, these blocks are, yeah, just buy this tape and buy a three inch wide roll and you won't have to do what I'm doing. Okay. Gloves back on. I don't want any of that glue on my fingers because I've been there, been there, done that. <laughs> oh man, I think that's a, I think that's a feels like a lefty. <laughs> feels weird. All right. Super glue. So now what I'm going to do is, you know what I'm going to do, right? Just going to take this super glue here and just just do that. I'm going to throw the, wipe that off, throw the lid back on real quick, and just take my, take my finger and just spread that 
the glue on top of the tape and you know what's next right now I'm just gonna take and uh, <clears throat> wipe my hand off first on something here get it all over the place now I'm gonna take the sandpaper and um, kind of put that right there So now you have two, you know, what I've really done is made a, made my own double stick tape. So if you just want to buy some double stick tape, you could do that. There's sandpaper available that has adhesive backing on it. You could do it that way. And, uh, but hey, you know, you work with what you have. So did that. Now I'm going to cut, put that in the frame. Yeah, okay, I'm going to. Just gonna cut that right there. First time the video camera came down in the workshop to do do a video like this. Okay, so now I have now I have my sandpaper nicely on my radius block. So I'll go back to what I was doing, and that was taking a nine and a half here, doing these frets down here putting the straight edge back on there and I have a two thousandths of an inch feeler gauge and what how I've been how I've been doing this is um, I take this uh, super duper straight this is made for like machined for I don't know the car industry it's, but it's, it stands up really nice so you get your neck on a flat surface it's important that the neck is like you know the way you have it flat like if you're going to support it because you can you can like like if i put the neck on a uh, end of the neck on a block sometimes you can push it out of being straight so anyway so i put that baby on there right so now there's my two thousandths of an inch feeler gauge which um you know, sliding underneath right here. And you know, we don't want that. We want it to be completely flat. So it's catching right about there. And then as I go down here, so it won't fit under this fret, but it, what's that, 17, I think, and it will fit under 18. So I got to take take a, a little more off of here, but this is way down from what it was. It was there was a chasm in here. It was like I think it was like ten thousand seven inch. So that's about it, man. I finally did it, John. Video for you. Video for anybody else that can get anything out of it. And um, I'm gonna turn my. I was listening to Fleet, Fleetwood Mac. I'm gonna turn that back on and. Uh, Get back to work. Bye. Getting a phone call anyway. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye, John. Hey, Mike. Yeah, I'm down here on my electronics bench. I just did a little uh, instructional video. i got to shut the camera off. Okay. Uh, no, no, I just finished it, man. I, I just finished it.